welcome back to Data Leaps. In today's video, we're going through the second architecture pattern to visualize streaming data or real-time data using Databricks and Power BI together. In the last video, we walked through Delta Life tables together with Power BI to query with page auto refresh. And in this video, we're showing the architecture pattern of using structure streaming and Power BI streaming data set together. Now, to be fair, very few people out there are using Power BI streaming data set. The reason being the data gets pushed into Power BI using an API and the data doesn't get retained for very long. It gets discarded shortly after it's been visualized. And most of people need data to be retained for future analysis. So most of the use cases that are using structured streaming are using it together with the last pattern. So you do structure streaming, process the data, sync the results into a delta table, and then use Power BI Direct Query with page refresh on top of that results delta table. So if you want to do that, you can watch the first part of this video and then the second part of the last video, which I will link in the top right corner. You can basically retain the data as well as visualizing it for real-time purposes. But for those of you who just want to visualize the incoming data with no need to retain the data for a longer period of time, then this is a perfect pattern for you. Without further ado, let's go over to my laptop. Here, what we're going to do is in Power BI service, we'll go to streaming data sets. Within streaming data set, you want to click on API and then click next. You will need to give the data set a name and then give the data set a schema. Remember, in Power BI streaming data set, you can only actually stream in a single table rather than a data model. So in the interest of time, we already created a streaming data set. If we add it, we can see the schema of this data set or streaming table, really. And then you can see the JSON representation for what the schema would be. We also toggle down historical analysis because we want to see the history for a little bit before the data gets discarded. We can see the API info of the streaming data set. We're going to need these uh, push URL for our structure streaming pipeline. And this is what structure streaming pipeline is going to call to push data into Power BI. And within Databricks, what we have is we have reference tables, and this is why we're using Spark.read, and the reference tables are in CSV. And we can also read in the other reference table, but we also want to use Autoloader to read in the actual streaming table. So here we're doing Spark.read stream.format cloud files, and this is how structure streaming knows that we are trying to use autoloader. We don't have to do any infrastructure kind of setup. As long as you do cloud files, Databricks will set up autoloader's infrastructure for you. And here we do some transformation, join the streaming data with some of the reference data and rename some file, uh, rename some columns and then have a clean version of the data frame with regions, promotion types and so on and so forth. You'll need the Power BI key in here. The best practice is to store this in Databricks SQL scope. And then we are writing a function essentially to get Databricks to transform the data frame into JSON and use that JSON as payload and push it to the Power BI push URL using the Power BI key in that Power BI API info. And once that function is written, what we need to do is to write stream for each 
batch, call that function, and then start the streaming. You can see the data has been streaming out from Databricks to Power BI. Now, in Power BI, we'll go to Dashboard. We want to create a new dashboard. And within a new dashboard, what we want to do is to create a tile. And that tile needs to be streaming data. So this is using the Power BI streaming data set. You can click on the data set that we created and then build visualization on top of it. This is not as rich as the Power BI desktop experience. The streaming data set visualization is fairly simple and this is just visualizing the limited data that you're streaming into Power BI. As you can see, the new data has been arriving and you can see the data that's been moving forward as the new data has arrived. Now, if we build a full dashboard on top of the structure streaming pipeline, it could look like this. Again, none of this data is retained in Power BI for long. So if you want to retain the data, what you want to do is instead of write stream dot for each batch, you want to do write stream and then save it into a delta table and then do Power BI Direct Query page refresh um, to visualize that data. Thank you for watching Data Leaps. If you think the content is useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it.